previously, Pearl, a robot, hired the six-gun lover to go take a look at some strange goings-on at the Cliff's Edge Hotel. She agreed to do so, and because she's a gun for hire, she's going to go find out exactly what's going on with that. So let's go. A little foggy this morning. A little bit foggy. I wonder why. I think this is the road up to it. Wait, no, this isn't. This is the road we took to go to uh, Acadia. So that means we must go a little further down the road, I would expect. I don't even know. Just running around out in the fog. Well, I guess we didn't go far enough. Get up there. Get up there. No, I didn't go far enough. How about we're here? Down in the end. All right. Where are you at, Pearl? Oh, we got to go up and around. It's been quite a while since I've been up here. And there's Pearl. and Hansy. Oh, wait a minute. Out of the woodwork. Yeah, we got 
target practice. What's going on around here? Hansy? Sense is this. Yeah, don't get up. He's the ghoul. Haunted the toilet. Well, what else is going on around here, Pearl? Ooh. Don't want to fall out there. I was hoarding wonder glue. What a monster. have a bell? Whoa, 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 whoa. I heard a ghoul. Sorry, fighting. Oh, you got this, huh? Yes, I know. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing else. What is it, man? What? What? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff in there. Yeah. Thank you, dog meat. Now, let's get back up here before she takes all the kills. Ooh, I'm not going that way. Like this specimen. Maybe shoot him. <laughs> subway token. He's planning on riding the subway, huh? Subway. Great to hell. Ooh, money. She remembers that. More locked doors. These things are everywhere. Nice. Dude's got a pack of smokes. What does he need with that? Bullets will kill you faster.
you know what, let's go ahead and <clears throat> get something a little bit more on the powerful side. She loves her six gun, but sometimes she may need a little something. What? <laughs> it's got him up and dancing. Oh! Again, make sure this area is secure. World. she's shooting at? Do get up there. Take it now. He was in a deep sleep. Or whatever these ghouls do. Trapper's note. Fascinating stuff. Dog me. There's Pearl. Hey, man. Where'd this dude come from? Oh, get up, Pearl. Off the top. I 
You're talking about Ghoul Haven. Oh, I thought there was something cool over there. All right. Yeah, I'd say the natives are being a little handsy. With unwanted advances. guy come from. <laughs> oh, glow boy. can just wait, man. I gotta investigate. It's serious business. Ah! <laughs> Look at that ugly mug. Only a mama ghoul could love that face. Well, who wants to kill her in here? I remember a long time ago when I first went through this area. Man, I got killed so many times. <laughs> it's back when I was playing this on the um, PS4. Oh, I thought this place would have been filled with monsters and ghoulies and everything else. Fire lurks. <laughs> oh, what did I miss? What? Rust from the ceiling. Well, I can't do anything about that right now, big boy. You gotta go down. Down the hole. Is that some guts? So pearl that. Oh, you killed all these guys, huh? That's pretty good. There. Oh, jukebox. Well, it's also a good time for her to get a, uh, a drink. Well, she's out of beer. Oh, bourbon will do. This elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You 
should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. I'm sure, Pearl. They have a little Christopher Cross or something in there, you know? Simon and Garfunkel. Abba. Ah, everybody get out of the way. <laughs> Come on, dog meat. Move. What is with these companions? Always clogging up the artery. And how do we know this room is safe, huh? Chef hat, not her speed. Not her style. Towels, fresh towels. You need to speak to Maxwell. Go ahead and activate the control. Oh, pack. get out of the way. Oh, look what we have here. Is this a registry? <laughs> oh, I need to. Okay, door has to be open. Well, open it, Pearl. I guess she's not going to do that. Greetings. Welcome to Vault 118. Your home away from home. Underground. Are you the detective we sent for? Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. Well, what if it was a detective without a working pit boy? Then what? Talk about my compensation first. Very well. Consider this a retainer. <laughs> Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. That is the crime scene again. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me. I again. shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here. All right, Pearl, you do that. Oh, wait a minute. Can we acquire? No, we cannot. <laughs> She's like, hey, free bottle of booze. It's part of the fee, right? Oh, it's the other way. All right. There we go. Excuse me. You have outdone yourself. This is your finest world. There is more emotion in his days than most have had in their entire lives. Our friend is dead, Mr. Avila. Have you no respect? I just say that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is 
Okay. Hmm. Is this blood? Blood from a robot. Hmm. And look at what we have here. The brain smasher. Oh, fence buster. A baseball bat? Huh. What's this doing here? How very quaint. Baseball bat in a room full of robots. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh, no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? <sighs> Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? So they scooped their heads out, dumped them in robot bodies. I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him? Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Nope. Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. Thank you, Maxwell. That is very comforting. <laughs> All right, looks like she's got a murder to solve. And we'll take that up next time around. So thanks for watching and stay cool. Later. Scoop their brains out and stick them inside of a robot, man. How desperate do you have to be? <laughs>